you and it's the number one reason why people don't start a business make an investment buy a house that's why i didn't start um, i had a mentor he showed me what to do and i didn't do anything for a year and um, i tell people if you have fear it costs you every day i didn't do a deal every week you don't start the business it's costing you but let's get down to it first of all i have to ask you everybody myself where does the fear come from? And I think it's pretty simple. Everybody's different. The first one for me, it's my mother, my grandmother, my dad saying, don't start a business. Don't do real estate. You're going to fail. We saw people fail. The economy's bad. The government's bad. The weather's bad. Everything bad's going to happen. Very rarely do you have people saying, hey, well, congratulations, Lo. Let me help we start a business. Correct? Yeah, that's true, 100%. So uh, that's the thing. First of all, where does it come from? Is it serving you? Well, let's get deeper. Why don't people move forward? Number one, fear of making a mistake, fear of failure, fear of looking bad, you know, all the negative things. Uh, so they're so scared of making one mistake, they don't do anything. We call that paralysis of analysis, correct? Yes. And and I think, and you and I, and I love working with you, you're the most positive guy ever. I'm very positive. But most people, what motivates them? Pain, correct? Yes. They want to avoid pain. So if, if I get started and fail, it'll be painful, so I'm not going to start. I think the real pain is staying the same. The real fear should be not starting, not moving to the next level, not doing the investment, not making the money, not growing. And uh, that's what motivates me. So everything you do has a risk for doing it and a risk for not doing it. So when the fear of staying the same or the pain of staying the same becomes great, then people move. Uh, the third one is you're going to fail. <laughs> you know that. I know that. We start a lot of businesses, investments, tried a lot of things. And I'll use this week for me. Today's Thursday. As a business owner, I have to make a probably 20 to 100 decisions a day. Would you agree? 100%. You called yesterday, let's do an interview. I could do it yesterday, let's do it today. Let's change the time. Should I talk to him? Should I go there? Should I pay that bill? Should I go to the meeting? And here's the good news. 60, 70, maybe 80% of my decisions are okay. 20% are horrible. Unsuccessful people hate to make decisions. Successful people make decisions every hour, and they're not perfect. Think of your own business, Mohammed. Yeah. Did you, did you make any mistakes the last uh, year, uh, decisions? Every day I make mistakes. Every day mistakes. Yeah. But you're still in business. Yeah. You're still alive. <laughs> you're still working. So all fears are irrational. Uh, you're going to make a mistake. That's how we learn. And if you don't make a mistake, you don't learn. Correct? Yes. So look at a success or uh, what have I learned? I won't do that again. <laughs> right? And that's how you really learn. So there's no such thing as failure. There's learning. Uh, and I think the other big problem, Muhammad, is fear of success. We don't want to subconsciously, we don't want to change. We don't want to leave our, make our friends uncomfortable. Or we don't want to be different. Uh, not only fear of making us, of failing, fear of success. Um, you know, we're taught not to stand out, not to be different. And, um, you know, here's the other thing, fear of looking bad or looking too good, right? And I'll use this example. My family, you know, we were very simple, was uh, a part of my family of friends. Uh, when I got successful, they said, hey, we want you to be successful. And one day we had a family meeting and I was very busy and I rented a helicopter. And it wasn't that expensive, it was like $500, you know, like almost like a pet ticket. Yeah. And we went to the family meeting in a helicopter. And guess what everybody said, Bob? Who do they think they are? They're, Robert's showing off how rich he is and uh, how much money he's making. That's all they talked about for three days. <laughs> Correct? Yeah. So a lot of people say they want to be successful, but they really don't want you to be, including ourselves. So fear of failure, uh, fear of success. But here's the bottom line. I found in my life, you know, family and a couple very close friends really care about you. 
most people really don't care. <laughs> and we're so worried about looking good or looking bad, correct? And, you know, people have, like, you talk to 20 people, you'll get 20 opinions. And listen, learn, only use experts. Uh, but the, the most important opinion is yours. If you want to do something, do it. Nobody has the right, including yourself, to tell you not to do something and let's have a logical expert reason not to do it. And 90% of the reasons are not logical. They're emotion, fear-based. And nobody, including myself, has the right to say, don't start that or don't do that because of fear, unless they have a better plan for you. It's very easy to say, Mohammed, don't move to Atlanta, don't start the internet business, don't do the real estate. It's easy to say, don't do it. Well, what should I do? <laughs> tell me what I can do. I'm not gonna tell you what you should, I'll just tell you what you can't do. And I'm not only talking about the people around you, but ourselves. And 99% of us like me have that voice in our head. You're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to look bad. And until you can control that voice and use logic and experts. Not my, I'm not, I was an expert in real estate the first year. I was listening to myself. My mother's not an expert in real estate. Great mom. She told me not to do it. I'm going to fail. I'm going to lose money. So last thing is, are you getting your advice from experts, from people that have done what you want to do for five or 10 years, or from non-experts? And get ready. You're going to hear no from a lot of people. You're going to hear negativity. Are you going to let it stop you from being successful? And what's so funny, uh, last story, and then I'll you know, wind up if you have another question. I just met a guy in one of my conferences a few weeks ago. He's from Washington State. And he says, I don't know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, he went to a dinner meeting. And there's a young guy there named Bill Gates. And Bill Gates was saying, hey, I got this idea. I'm going to start this computer company. And you can invest $50 and buy a share of stock. $50. Yeah. His friend invested like uh, $500 about 10 shares. It's now worth like $9 billion or whatever it's worth. Yeah. And yeah. him and the other 30 people said, that's stupid. It won't work. Nobody likes computers. No one's ever going to buy them. And he went and asked his uh, friends, like, oh, we don't know computers, but don't do computers. And to this day, every day, guess what he regrets? So my question is, is the decision, money, debt, real estate, investing, is it based on fear, emotion, or based on reality, expert facts? And most of our decisions, because we're people, are based on emotion and fear. Once you're aware of the problem, you can fix it. Yes. Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much. Robert, as we are about to close, what would you say as a final word on this? Uh, again, all fears are rational, correct? Yes. Take a breath, slow down before you make a decision and get real expert advice. And if you can't give it to yourself. And you know this from a mentor, from a leader, from a, a somebody, and educate yourself. And uh, you're going to have a life of regret if you don't do what you want to do. So yeah. be bold. And the first thing, last thing, every time you take an action, the fear goes away. Break it down into simple steps. Don't overthink it, overwork it. Today, what can I do? I'm thinking yeah. about doing a TV show, so I meet with a producer. There's no risk in the meeting, correct? <laughs> I put the real estate under contract. I can get out of the contract. No risk. Take yeah. a step. The minute you take action, you feel better. Yeah. At the end of the day, as you say, the fear stands for... False, false evidence. Evidence appearing real. Yeah. It's a false evidence. Get rid of that. Just fire that. Just fire that. Just fire all the things in the next <laughs> shoulder. Like yeah. this. Sometimes earlier you may have to do so many of them. At the end, it will be very, very clear. Robert, yeah. as always, thank you so much. And we'll be seeing you very soon. Thank I you. I want to wish everyone a lot of success. Great to see you, Mohammed.